So even in 2022, hashtags are still a really, really useful tool that we can use on Instagram to help our content get found. And while I have shared a fairly up-to-date hashtag strategy video here on YouTube showing how you can do your own hashtag research on the platform itself, I wanted to show you a tool today that I am obsessed with for my hashtag research and my strategy and also scheduling my posts at the moment as well. It just makes the whole process so much easier and it is called Flick Hashtags. So I'm going to be giving you a bit of a tour around today and how to do your hashtag research easily within this tool. So hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna from byrosanna.co.uk. I am a designer and online educator. And here on YouTube, I share content all to do with marketing, business, productivity, website design, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're there. So the tool that I want to show you today is called Flick Hashtags. I am pretty obsessed with this and use this just exclusively for all of my Instagram planning and hashtag research now. I do have an affiliate link in the video description and you can give it a go for seven days for free as well, which is really useful. But yeah, once you've created a free account, it will look something like this. You have a home page, you have a search section where you can start searching and researching your hashtags. You have a collections section where you can literally build folders of different hashtags for different purposes. You have an analytics section where you get loads of data and information about your content, the hashtags you've used and your account as well. And they also have a scheduling feature as well, which I now use exclusively for both my Instagram accounts on here. I used to use later and I have a full video review here on YouTube all about that, but I've actually moved completely to Flick because it has the scheduling tools that I need and it has the really, really in-depth hashtag research tools as well. So it was kind of a no-brainer. So you can start searching for hashtags up on the home page here, or you can click on the search page uh, to get searching. And what you're going to want to do is basically type in a keyword or phrase that is relevant to the content that you share on Instagram. And it can be fairly broad to start with because what this is going to do is it's just going to be a starting point and then Fleck is going to suggest hashtags of different popularities and different levels of specificness. Is specificness a word? Specificity? I don't know. But yeah, it's going to drill down. And so to start with, don't worry too much about the keyword that you're putting in. Just a general topic is absolutely fine. So I'm going to type in Instagram tips and then we're going to go ahead and search for matching hashtags that are relevant to this. And how Flick arranges it is it will show you some hashtags with low competition. So that means that there are less people posting using this hashtag. And so there's less competition for you. The only thing that that does mean as well is that obviously because there's less people using the hashtag, there's probably less people searching for that hashtag as well. Um, so then your post may be less likely to be seen because of people not actually searching for it. But it's good to have a good mix in the hashtags that you're using of low competition, medium competition, and a couple of high competition ones as well. And these are posts that have probably hundreds of thousands of posts associated with them, hundreds of posts being uploaded using that hashtag every day. So there's a lot of competition going on, but it also means they're really popular. And the reason why you would still maybe want to use a couple of these is just in case your post gets loads of traction and starts getting really popular, then it might end up ranking on here as well. And if you want more information about how the algorithm kind of works with hashtags and what Instagram is looking for with that kind of stuff go and check out my hashtag strategy video but I'm just showing you in this video how to do just the research part so if we just look at the medium competition hashtags here we can see we've got things like entrepreneur Instagram tips for marketers savvy businesswoman all of this kind of stuff and you can just click on each of these and it will start selecting them and what happens when you select hashtags is it gives you the option here you can either save them to a collection, so create a folder on your account so that you can come back to them later. You can copy them to your clipboard, so maybe you're midway through writing an Instagram caption now and you want to copy these to paste them in. 
And you can audit your selection as well to make sure that they're actually good quality, which is a really useful tool. Once you've kind of selected a few, um, you can audit what you have selected. Um, you can also view them in the sidebar if you want to keep track of the ones that you've selected there. I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. And when it comes to actually choosing which hashtags you want to use, just remember that in 2022, it is really, really important that the hashtags you are using on your posts are actually extremely relevant and specific to what your post is about. So there's less point nowadays in using really broad uh, hashtags. For example, entrepreneur, if I was sharing a post with three Instagram tips for small businesses, Entrepreneur would be an example of a hashtag that is way too vague and not specific enough. And it's very, very, very unlikely that my post would ever rank in that hashtag. So there's really no point in using it. Instagram really wants you to use things that are super specific. So things like Instagram tips for dummies, Instagram tips for marketers, Instagram tips for newbies, those are so specific to exactly what my post is about. So these are examples of really good hashtags for me to be using on this content. So I'm going to select some of those. And also, if you see one that you want to kind of dive deeper into, if you click this search bar icon, it will then set up another tab here with related hashtags for specifically that hashtag you've just selected. So it makes it really easy to navigate around your different searches and go deeper into a specific niche with these hashtags, which is another reason why I love this tool. And another way that you can view these hashtags, if you want more information about each of them, is click on this table view up here and Flick will basically give you an example of how competitive that hashtag is. A DAPC is your daily average post count. So this is the amount of posts that are being published on Instagram using this hashtag each day on average. The average likes those posts are getting, the total posts and the average comments. So you can really dive super deep into these. And let's say you want to just get a list of the top hashtags in terms of their potential reach. You can just toggle this on and it will show you that uh, based on that filter as well, which is useful. Now I've just gone back to group view because I want to show you another awesome feature that Flick uh, gives you. It's called the smart filter. And this is going to be really useful once you've been using Flick for a while and it's started to get analytics and data about your account. What you can do is click on refine search results, click on smart filters, and it will filter these hashtags based on certain parameters that it has decided are relevant for your account. So in this occasion, it has therefore filtered these um, hashtags for posts that have got less than 440,000 posts to them, just because it's decided that is what's best for my account to be using. And the average likes are between this much as well. So so it's really tailoring this selection for my account, which is awesome. But so I've got these eight uh, hashtags currently selected at the moment. If we open it up, we can see what these are. We've got some medium competition and low competition in here. Now what I'm gonna do is just click audit selection so that Flick can have a look at what I'm trying to use here. Now it's given some warnings here saying that these hashtags are very small. They might be too small for me to gain any traction with these. So I might want to add some more in here. So I'm going to remove a couple of them here. Having one or two is okay, but four might just be a bit too much. You want to have a reasonable mix of different popularities and competition here. It's also giving me some insights about the hashtag selection. So using only five out of 30 might not be enough. I want, might want to try and um, raise my chances of getting exposure on these hashtags by using as many as I possibly can, which is 30. Um, and it's saying that there aren't any banned or flagged hashtags that I'm using. And again, it's saying that one of these might not be suitable. So now that I've audited this down, I can then copy them to my clipboard or add to a collection. So I'm gonna start a new collection here called Instagram tips and click create. So that's added them now. I'm just going to exit out of this. I'm going to go ahead and clear these hashtags now and go over to my collection. And you can see I already had a small business uh, collection here set up with a few different hashtags. And now I have my Instagram tips collection as well. You'll also notice there are these three smart collections up here, which are awesome because it will show you all of the hashtags you've used so far. It will show you recently ranked hashtags 
and top performing ones as well. So you can select them, you could add them to a whole separate collection called top performing or something like that. Um, there's loads of different things that you can do with this. So I want to show you now how that works in terms of scheduling your posts and adding the hashtag to your post right within Flick. So let's head over to the scheduling area here. I like to view mine monthly. Um, and I can see that I've got one post scheduled in here, ready to go this evening. I'm just gonna click and drag one of these over to the date that I want. And then I'm just gonna move me over here so that you can see. We've got the post and you can add more to create like a carousel post or anything like that. Um, and then you can start writing in your caption here. So let's just pretend that I've written in a proper, good quality, engaging caption here then obviously we want to add our hashtags. So head over to the hashtags button here. And this is where we can see a list of all our collections, the ones that we've put together and the smart ones as well. So maybe I want to select all of these and insert them. Then if I go back, I want to add in my Instagram tips one. So I'm gonna select all, insert them. And you can play around with the layout and things like that. I would always recommend adding in the hashtags into the actual uh, caption itself rather than in the first comment, although it does give you that option if you want to. So when we come down to the bottom, you'll notice it says auto posting. Flick does give you the option to automatically post your um, posts to your Instagram account. If you have a business Instagram account, if you have a personal Instagram account or a creator account, auto posting is not available to you. Um, but if you do have a business account, you can choose whether you want this to automatically post on its own or send you a notification on the app on your phone. Yes, Flick does have an app as well where you can also do all the hashtag research too, which is awesome. I personally prefer to do it by a notification so that I can double check everything before it goes out. And this is where you can set the time for it. And you'll notice also that Flick gives you some suggested times. So I'm gonna select one of these, click off, and that has updated the time. If you were auto posting, Flick then does give you the option to automatically add a location tag and the first comment. As I said, if you're doing it based on a notification, you would need to do that yourself manually. I'm going to go ahead and click schedule and you can see that it has applied to my um, little schedule planner here for the month. And you can easily just click on this to edit this at any time or delete it um, and cancel that schedule as well. So I'm gonna move over to my other account here so that I can show you the analytics just because I have more data on this one. I've been using it on here for longer. And again, I think Flick really does have some of the best analytics out there for your account. You can see kind of an overview of your followers, your reach, um, what times they're online. And you can see that more granular for each of the days as well reach impressions you can change the period that you're looking at here so i'm looking at for the last 30 days um, and if you go onto the content tab you can see this for both your feed posts checking their engagement rates you can see which hashtags um ranked you got ranked for for those posts as well which is awesome you can see where your post ranked on certain hashtags as well so i ranked in the top nine um for these hashtags with this post which is awesome to know i could then click on these um and add them to another collection if i wanted like a may best performing or something if i wanted to um and you can see all sorts of kind of engagement statistics about each post as well you can also look at this data for stories as well which is awesome i clearly need to refresh my connection there but you can see things like views engagement completion yes you can see a lot of these on the instagram app itself but it's so useful to have this all in one place and displayed in a really really easy um, view as well and then of course we have your hashtags um, section here where you can see a list of all your hashtags, your top performance, lowest performance, ones that it's still tracking. There's honestly so much data here um, that you can really, really take forward to refine your hashtag strategy even more. Then on the account one, we've got things about, yeah, your audience usage, where they're from and stuff like that. 
So that's an overview of Flick and why I love it and why I'm using it for all of my hashtag research and Instagram scheduling. If you do want to give it a go and see how it works for you, go ahead and check out the link in the video description. It is an affiliate link, but it will give you a seven day free trial. And then their plans are really affordable as well, especially considering it includes all the scheduling as well, which I was paying separately for anyway. And now I have it all in one pretty affordable price for a tool like this. So go ahead and check that out. And thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with another video.